Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. The original articles that I found discussing the fully functional female robots were all purged from the internet. I wasn't shocked because I used to do d discuss political events uh, before all the time and entire subjects would be removed from the entire internet. So by the time the robot articles disappeared, I was already a vet as understanding internet purges. But the original articles discussed a $345,000 price tag for a robot that was far more advanced than what we're used to seeing or hearing about in the news coming out of universities or coming out of scientific research quote unquote and given feminism willing to do since there is a wave of women who now literally hate men don't want to have to have don't want to have kids don't want to get married and who destroy men when they get married and divorce them thinking they have quote-unquote one only to end up homeless years later remember the very first video in the series was years ago the information was still available all the way up until the second video which was a year after the very first video then came the purge I don't know if me making the second video did it because the it went to a million views very quickly, calling attention to those Japanese and Chinese underground manufacturers. By the third video, the information was purged completely. I had to rely on tech studies uh, that are as dry as translating ancient African into modern languages discussing paint mixing. <clears throat> uh, but I also relied on Asian news discussing uh, sightings of, of robots uh, and actually telling stories of a man who would have his robot accompany him on picnics and such in, in the out in the open in the public. You should know that feminist organizations have launched lobbyists to ban these in Canada, UK, that's the United Kingdom and the US even if they're just talking about dolls they even threw a guy in jail for ordering a Japanese sized doll claiming it was pedophilia although it wasn't a kid nor a living kid now uh, if I were his lawyer I would have presented the Asimo robot which stands about this tall and that robot is intentionally made that small so as not to be a threat to anyone it's a little bit shorter than the average Japanese adult so in order not to uh, cause any sort of fear or threatening situation they made the robot small in stature and they have come out and said they did that on purpose to make sure that the population would be very accepting of the robots so it had to be small so in in light of that uh, the idea that uh, some guy ordered a toy and was doing whatever he was doing with it in his private home in Canada this, this is in Canada uh, boggles the mind as to why uh, the state would care and I'm sure the state was uh, strong-armed by some uh, female organizations the stakes for this technology are really high because feminist organizations are threatened by it it will completely overstep their power women hold over men if you take the bedroom or even worse make something agreeable that's in the home the entire argument 
that women should have a right to say whatever, whenever, however they want to say it to men is gone. The manufacturers had the info perched off of the internet. Because the feminist lobbyists would come after them at a million bucks for one customized robot, the manufacturers don't need to market themselves, nor do they need to be open to the public. Their customers spread word by word of mouth to men who can afford the robots to begin with. The general public doesn't need to know because they can't afford them even at the basic model. Unless you, know, unless you, you know, uh, some some men have said, well, at three hundred forty-five thousand dollars, that's actually cheaper than what it has cost me in a divorce. Now, of course, this is all hindsight. This is not, you know, a twenty-year-old saying this, right? Uh, this is a, you know, 40, 40 year old man who, uh, whose wife has divorced him and now she has cost him probably half a million dollars. You know, when they did all the calculations, including all the lawyer's fees, uh, the cost of the house and the cost of the uh, alimony and child support. Now people keep asking me, where the, where's the video proof? Where's the video proof? Where's the video proof? Well, I have an announcement to make. Some of the newspapers in Asia are now reporting my uh, information, not my information, but the information that indeed Japan and China have launched uh, robots so advanced to blow away all of these robots that you see on YouTube talking about they can do push ups, they can do sit ups. Uh, uh, one, uh, you can have uh, ro uh, robot arms that cook you a three star meal. Uh, you have robots uh, that can do backflips. You have robots uh, who feel uh, more human than human. And then you have robot internal organs and what have you. Uh, these Asian newspapers, online and offline, are now reporting all of this information. So the truth is finally coming out. So uh, the information does need to be purged. Now, where do you get these robots? Well, if you only make $300,000 a year, that means you have expenses commensurate with uh, making $300,000 a year, which is probably $250,000 a year, right? Because that's how Americans pretty much operate. And the other $50,000 that's left over is all spent on movies and snacks and and uh, oil changes. I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> uh, so there is nothing to you not knowing or not seeing the information because you can't afford it. Do you know there are cars that are worth a million dollars? There are cars that are worth two million, three million dollars. Do you know the cars? Have you seen the cars? Now it's a little bit, uh, a little bit different because they do have the pictures of the cars, but a lot of times they don't even have a real life picture. They have a an artist rendering of the car. Why? Because it's not necessary to show you the car because you can't afford it anyway. The the. Uh, li listen, so Elon Musk, uh, when he sold his first car, put you on a list and you had to put down a, deposit, a deposit to even have them start making the car. And the list is awfully short. It's not half a million people like a, a Dodge Ram truck. I have no, I keep telling you, I don't know anything about a car. I know nothing about vehicles whatsoever. I'm, I'm assuming those things go to those words go together. Do, Dodge Ram truck, right? I'm sure they probably what maybe a million people bought it and buy it every year. Versus the people that bought Elon Musk car, he could actually name 
he could pull out a list and be like, ah, oh, here, here they are. Same thing with these robots. When you customize them, uh, they come out to about a million dollars. So the list of people who are going to be ordering them is very short. Now, what are the uh, female organizations uh, doing? Why, why are they so so threatened by such a few? Because they are projecting in the future, if we already have a fully functioning female robot, in the future, this fully functioning female robot price tag is going to be reduced from a million to half a million, probably all the way down to $10,000. So in the future, any sort of idea that, uh, that we're, we're going to have any sort of power broker stance over men to say, we want this and we want, well, it doesn't even take the, the idea that such a robot exists because they've already said in the next phase of automation for the na for the entire world the first people jobs to go are going to be all of the jobs that are now typically female dominated so all of the offers well china already did it they they fired 30,000 people who worked in a, a high-rise bank in China. Fired them, pack your bags, we're gonna put the entire, it was a bank, we're gonna put the entire bank, all of your jobs, on AI. So they replaced the, all of the jobs in there. And you can, you can of course, bet that most of the jobs were female dominated. And they've already said, the news has already come out and said that the very first replacements for jobs, uh, for robots taking over uh, jobs, are going to be all female oriented. Because the male oriented jobs, they have to do not just AI, but they also have to do physical stuff. Because women take uh, the all cushy jobs, the air conditioned job, so, so now you won't even need a big high rise building. You can make a, com a secure one story facility with a bunch of IBM computers just stacked up everywhere, you know, servers just stacked up and the people call in and they get their whatever or they do online shopping or they do online whatever, whatever they're going to be doing. Uh, customer service, whatever. Do. Google already announced and demonstrated, you can look this up right here on YouTube demonstrated a robot that ordered pizza and the pizza people had no idea that it was a robot ordered a, a beauty parlor appointment uh ordered a uh, uh ordered a uh, oil change or something like that to deal with cars i keep telling you i don't know anything about cars and the robot sounded more human than shikama and now that's saying something because Shikama is pr pretty human. <laughs> and nobody would mistake me for a robot, right? I don't think. I hope. Who knows? I might be a robot. You don't you don't know. You never know. I'm just a a, a picture uh, 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 on, on your video. But uh, I, I, Google has already demonstrated that it is perfected. And they're still uh, working on it. And the robot sounded just like a human. I mean, hello. Yes, I'd like to order two pizzas. On the first one, I want pepperoni and sausage and a third item. What's the third item? Hmm, let me think what would be good. Oh, you know what would be really good? How about let's just do an extra cheese? Okay, sir, thank you. Uh, I got your order for the first pizza. What's the second pizza? Oh, the second pizza? I think it's we're just going to do cheese. Oh, well, that's great. Okay, I have one pizza with pepperoni, sausage, and extra cheese. And then for the second 
pizza it's just gonna be cheese you got it how much what does that come out to uh, that comes out to uh, you know 25 bucks okay how long will it take to get here uh, give us about 30 minutes all right uh, thank you okay thank you for calling bye no idea that it was a robot and, and that you could look up uh, on uh, you know I, I knew this was gonna be a problem uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that you can look up here, right here on YouTube. So you can call into a company, have AI talk to you, and you be completely uh, in the dark that you're not talking to a human at all. And like I said, those jobs are going to be taken over by robots and mostly are going to replace female dominated jobs at first. This is a projection that the female organizations are afraid of. That all, all of the hard work that they did to get this and that and other past about working and working and working and working and making sure women work and make, making sure women are making the most absolute most money is all going to come crashing down because the robots are going to take their jobs anyway. And there is nothing that they can do. But what they can do is try and get these uh, female wife robots completely replaced. That technology, they, they can uh, appeal uh, appeal to uh, people's uh, dread uh, and people's sense of fear about actual, ro actual physical robots to completely take over the job. But I'm here to tell you, Japan has already rolled out even more robots that you don't know. Receptionists, uh, 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 chefs, uh, it's all female oriented, all female job oriented. Uh, I should have written this down. <laughs> uh, anything you can think of that's sort of female type of job uh, and, and slightly physical. Uh, they, uh, Japan's already cured it. And by cure it, I mean they've already uh, created robots who uh, who who take who have taken over that sort of thing. Uh, information booth attendant, uh, direction attendant, uh, not not the policeman that uh, actually gives you tickets or anything like, but 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 a policeman that uh, you know you get information from. Uh, even uh, child child sized robots to interact with children, uh, tutors, teachers. These are robots that already exist. And not just in Asia, these robots exist in uh, the Europe as well. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, tell me, what, what, what do you think about the future? And uh, 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 will you be ordering your robot? <laughs> Is a million dollars not too expensive for her? And the million dollars is, uh, I want her to look like uh, Scarlett Johansson. I want the robot to look like this. Uh, I want her to uh, walk this way. And yes, customized, right? That's a million bucks. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please support the channel at uh, patreon.com slash Shikama.